Kaya number one. Subscribe kayo ah. Oo, oh, tama yun. Subscribe tama yun. kayo tama yun. sa tama. Lancer bar type, two door. This one's clean. You know, it's chrome. What's this? Ano ba to? Ta familiar dito ah. Parang jeep. So here is the XRT concept. It's the new pickup truck of Mitsubishi uh, Motors. Uh, actually, hindi na siya concept car because they have already announced that this will be the new look of the all-new Triton. Uh, Triton is what we call Strata here in the Philippines. Uh, pero Mitsubishi will drop the name na kasi of their globalization. Target nila na parang iisa na lang yung name ng mga vehicles across the world. So, iba-ibang countries. So, yan, Mitsubishi Triton. Uh, they announced that they will be releasing it early 2024. So, we should expect that in our market very, very soon. And Mitsubishi, of course, and Team Rally Art participated again in the Asia Cross Country Rally, which they have a podium finish and a overall team champion. Uh, they did not get the first place in the podium, you know, like last year when they used the Strada or the Triton, but overall they got the team championship. Next is the XFC concept. Well, it's no longer a concept because Mitsubishi announced that this look will be the new SUV or the crossover that they will offer that will be called the new Mitsubishi X-Force. Like the Triton, Mitsubishi announced that they will release this car early 2024 so we should expect it in the first quarter of the year it's the new subcompact suv or crossover of mitsubishi that will have a 1.5 liter engine two-wheel drive and a cvt transmission at this section you can see the off-road vehicles or the overland vehicles that was set up for camping uh overland trips you know and uh, you can see the Rally Art Mitsubishi Strada or Triton. Uh, they used this uh, platform last year when they committed the Asia Cross Country Rally where Team Rally Art bagged the championship and won first place. Of course, this section is brought to you by Overland Kings and Black Rhino. So ito naman yung Outlander PHEV ng Mitsubishi. It is the plug-in hybrid vehicle. Uh, it has 2.4 liter engine for wheel drive. Uh, it can drive up to 55 kilometers full electric. Tapos pag uh, nalobat na yung full electric mode, you can switch to gasoline mode para gumamit na siya ng gas. Uh, what's unique about this also, it can power up a house for 12 days uh, straight as long as it is full tank at saka fully charged yung battery. So, what a cool car, right? On this side naman, we can see the historical milestones of Mitsubishi from 1963 to the present. So, uh, all the milestones they have achieved, yung mga na-produce nilang vehicles from the start. And on this side, syempre, makikita natin ang iba't-ibang klase ng L300. 
which naging partner na ng Pinoy sa kanilang mga hanap buhay. Like that, yung coffee, uh, you can have it for water delivery, for uh, your products, and the uh, others na pang business. So, gamit na gamit na natin ang L300. So, right here, ito naman yung mga current models ng Mitsubishi Wear. You can see the Mirage, the Expander Cross, uh, the Montero. Here is the uh, Strada Athlete. Beside it is the M Mitsubishi Montero GT and uh, the expander cross or i think this is the new expander so we're here at the world trade center no last day nung uh, mitsubishi 60th anniversary expo so uuwi na natin si cyborg but before that syempre mag-iikot muna tayo to experience the expo for the last day so right here we have the Dodge Colt. Mitsubishi started here in the Philippines as Dodge. So they were marketed by Dodge the same in US dati. Uh, Mitsubishi Motors were marketed by Dodge, Plymouth, and Eagle. That, you know what we call the DSM back then. So this is such a nice car. This is equivalent to a uh, Galant Colt ata, no? if I'm not mistaken. At this section naman, we can see the Mitsubishi iconic cars. First would be the Colt Mirage in 1983. It is the first front-wheel drive vehicle na na-release ng Mitsubishi in the 80s, no? Uh, tapos, what's cool about this car is, meron siyang lever switch. You can select Eco, eco Mode and uh, Power Mode. So, the technology back then for fuel saving and if you want power is already there. And next would be the Pajero 1985, the first generation box type Pajero. So, looks brusco, di ba? As here is the Starion 1986. It was released in Japan. Uh, I never thought that we'd have it here in the Philippines. Although uh, this is supposed to be uh, joining the Group B in WRC Championships, but uh, it didn't happen. So they have to switch to Galant, and we'll talk about that later. This one is the Mitsubishi Box Type. You know, very Tito car. Until now, naman meron naman tayong nakikita na ito, di ba? So this iconic box type uh, we can we've seen in the movies before, you know, in the streets. Very classic Mitsubishi car. At sa Japan yan, mayroon na release yung GSR Turbo. And this one would be the L300 van, you know, service ng mga batang 90s dati yan. Sa school, sa pelikula, ginagamit din yan, di ba? And here is the 1992 Mitsubishi Galant. You know, Mitsubishi started uh, the Galant VR4 uh, joining in the WRC back then. And you know, dito na unang na-produce yung 4063 engine na ginagamit until now ng mga classic Mitsubishi cars. Next is the 1993 Mirage Cyborg. It was not offered here in the Philippines in the 90s. It was only intended for Japan market. This specific Mirage Cyborg has a 4G93 turbo engine which is far from the original engine of Mirage Cyborg which has a 4G92 Myvek which uh, they first developed the Myvek engine that is now being used in every engines of Mitsubishi. Now, the other Mirage Cyborg that you can see here in the Expo has the Evo 2 front body kits also has the same engine 4G93 engine. I mean 4G93 turbo engine. So there, you can see different faces of Mirage Cyborg and that is very unique here. Next is the Evolution 3. This is a classic WRC car which Tommy Mackinnon won its first WRC championship in 1996 and then followed it up in 97 and 98. Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 3 has 4G63 T engine and all-wheel drive. It was also intended for Japanese market only during the time it was released by Mitsubishi. Next is the 1999 Pajero Fieldmaster. It has 4056 engine, 4x4 drivetrain. It has a classic design, iconic, and a very timeless beauty that we can still see on the roads in the Philippines up to this day. Next is the 2000 Lancer Evolution 6.5 or what we call Tommy Mackinnon. This is a tribute card to Tommy Mackinnon who won the WRC Championships in 1996 to 1998. It is powered by 4G63T engine, four-wheel drive with AYC. However, the RS versions doesn't have AYC, only mechanical rear differentials. Next is the Lancer Evolution 9 MR. This is the last Lancer Evolution that is powered by 4G63 engine because the uh, Evo 10 already comes with 4B11 turbo engine. Uh, this 4G63 engine is the first 4G63 engine that has a Myvek technology which as I mentioned Myvek is being used now in every engine of Mitsubishi that are being released today. Don't even
Next is the Mitsubishi IMI EV. This is the world's first mass produced 100% electronic vehicle. It won Car of the Year in 2009 2010 for the most advanced technology vehicle award in Japan. What a successful event of Mitsubishi Motors Philippines. Ikanganila diamonds are really forever. Thank you for the opportunity para ma display to Mirad Cyborg na ito sa expo nyo. Hope to see you again on this 70th anniversary. Of course, this video is brought to you by Garage 69 Auto Restoration and Auto Detailing, Nano Pro Auto Film Mech, Ceramic Tint, and Paint Protection Film. Mga bossing, don't forget to subscribe on my channel to see my future vlogs. Alam ko matagal na ako, hindi na pag vlog ngayon lang ulit. But I'll make sure to release new ones dun sa mga gawa natin. So, better stand by.